Hello, my name is Alicja. I come from Poland, currently living in the Netherlands. So here from the Netherlands, I'm going to show you how to make an eddy kite with a tail with my technique. Okay, so here you can see most of the materials that we will need, or all of the materials that you, we will need and tools that we will need to make the kite. First and most important part of the kite is the kite sail. I have a kite sail already pre-cut here. I used ripstop nylon, uh, which is the professional kite material for making it. However, you can use just simple nylon or foil or paper to do this kite, to make this kite. Uh, very important the dimensions uh, of the sail. So the sail dimensions are 50 centimeters here by 50 centimeters here. Then the distance from the top of the kite to the bridle point or to the cross of the two lines is 10 centimeters. The second bridle point here, the distance between it and the bottom of the kite is 8 centimeters. So now when we know the kite dimensions, we can go farther. Uh, what is important is to uh, mark on the kite these little lines here. I'm not sure if you're going to see it here. I have another cell which is yellow. So here on the yellow you can see these black lines on the edges of the kite. And these black uh, little marks are here for us to make sure that we put the stick pockets in the right place. So, just once again showing you on uh, this example, a little perpendicular lines, two centimeters from the corners of the kite, to make a mark on where we will attach the pockets for the sticks. Okay, so I will be working on a yellow one. So now the second step, so where? Well, actually the first step, is making some decorations on our kite. So while we already have our holes for the uh, bridle, um, I made the holes as this is uh, ripstop nylon or with the other nylon, the, uh, the, better, well, the best way to make the holes is using a soldering iron. I already made the holes here, so we just put the soldering irons through the material and make a hole one and make a hole two. And these are our bridle points. Uh, you can also cut them with scissors, that's not a problem if you don't have a soldering iron at home. Uh, so now uh, we are going to go to the front of the kite, so the side where we don't uh, mark the um, pockets, uh, pocket uh, lines. And here we're going to uh, put some decorations. You can paint on your kite, you can draw on your kite. What I'm going to do, I am using, I will use earlier prepared little circles, which I'm going to combine into a little flower. To attach the circles to uh, the sail, as this is uh, a ripstop, ripstop nylon and not every glue will actually keep them together, I'm using a double-sided tape. It's my favorite tape, which I use very often when I'm making the kites. So double-sided tape uh, will keep the decoration and the sail together. So let me make this kite a little flower for you. So okay. I already prepared the double the pieces of double sided tape on the little circles so that the whole presentation doesn't take too long. But this is just my idea for the decoration. Obviously you can use your creativity, you can draw, you can paint or you can stick some pre-cut uh, shapes on your kite. Okay. And here we go. So here's the flower. Uh, it will be very minimalist decoration for this uh, for this kite. Okay, let me just throw these beads away. Now the second step will be attaching the uh, uh, the tail to the kite. The tail for the kite should be two and a half meters long, and I already have uh, prepared 
the uh, tail stripes. They are, I have four stripes of 65 centimeters here, which I'm going to attach to each other. So then the combination will be 260 centimeters. So more or less two and a half meters. Uh, and they are four centimeters wide. So again, I'm going to use my favorite tool, which is the double-sided tape. So I cut a piece of the double-sided tape and I stick it to the edge of uh, the tail, the first stripe. And now I'm going to stick it to the sail. Okay, like this. Then I have the other four pieces which I'm going to attach to each other. Others. So then the tail is more or less two and a half meters long. Okay, see, so again I put a piece of double sided tape on the edge and stick the second stripe to it like this. And here I have already the double sided tape prepared. Now, to make sure that the pieces don't fall off during the flight, I'm going to use a stapler to reinforce, uh, to, uh, to keep them together even if a high wind, in a high wind. So I use the stapler to attach the tail and to the kite and I also use the stapler to attach the pieces of the tail to each other just to make sure that they will not fall off during the flight. Okay, see, so now we have double sided tape and also another. Um, another way to attach the pieces of tail to each other. So we have the sail, we have the tail ready. So now we will flip the side and start working on the pockets which we will use to put the uh, sticks in. So to, for the pockets I am using Dacron. However, if you are not having, if you don't have access to this type of material, you can use your normal nylon, or you can use ripstop nylon, or you can use a foil, uh, or you can use a paper. However, if you are using other materials than Dacron, which is a very strong material, I would recommend to. So first, what we need to do with it, we need to cut a piece which is four centimeters by two centimeters long. And with this piece, we are going to fold it in half. So if you are using a material which is not that strong as Dacron is, I would recommend to also put a cello tape over this material, just to make sure that it's strong enough to hold our sticks on the kite. I'm not going to do it because Dacron is strong, strong enough to do it. So now, again, my favorite tool, which is double-sided tape. Um, so I cut a little piece of a double-sided tape, I stick it on one side of the pocket, okay? And with this I go to the first corner of the kite and this is when I'm going to use the little markups that we've made at the beginning. Just remember that they are uh, two centimeters from each corner of the kite. I stick it to the kite and I will do it with all four corners. I have these little Dacron pieces already prepared here. Okay, so here's two. Here's three. And here is four. 
So these are the little pockets which we will be using uh, to put the sticks in. And before I will continue, I'll double check if the length is okay. So they will be 50 centimeters long, both of them, as the uh, dimensions of the kite. So it's 50 centimeters here, 50 centimeters there. Yes, it's okay. So now the next step, just to actually make a pocket out of these little uh, pieces, I need to use the stapler again. And on the edges of the, um, of the dacron stripes, I put one step, and on the other side, I will put the second. Okay, so now, first of all, the pocket is attached to the kite firmly, and second of all, I've created a little pocket here, which, whoops, which I can use to put the stick in. See? Okay, and I'm going to do it with all four. So again, we've got it sticked with a double-sided tape, just to make sure that it doesn't move around when we are using the stapler. Okay, on the edges I go one, here I go two, and again, here I go one, And the last one, one, and two. Okay, so my pockets are ready. So now I can put oops, the sticks into the pockets. I'm using bamboo sticks here, however, you can use any wooden sticks or um, carbon sticks or fiberglass, whichever you have available. Uh, bamboo is good because it's quite flexible, same as uh, fiberglass. So when I'm putting it to the pocket, I make sure that it will not break. Okay, so I put the vertical one. Now the other one. One. Oops. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. So our sticks are in. Now the time's come for the bridle. So I have prepared a bridle here. It's a one meter line which we are going to attach to the kite in the two bridle points. Maybe I will flip it over so that you can see it better. Okay, so there's one bridle point here at the top of the kite and the other one here at the bottom. Just a reminder, 10 centimeters from the top and 8 centimeters from the bottom. First, I will attach the bottom bridle. So I put the line through the hole and Make a simple knot around the stick. One and oops. two. Okay, so that one is already attached. And now I go to the second bridle point, which is on the top. So I put the line again through the little hole. And now I need to go around the two sticks to grab them together, okay, in the place where they cross. And again, I'm going to make a simple double knot here. Okay, so the bridle is almost ready. Now what we do with the bridle, we put the bridle to make it parallel to, to the top of the bridle, make parallel to the um, vertical stick, okay? And at the very end, I grab it and make a simple knot here, okay? 
at the end of the bridle. I will use this knot at the end of the day to attach my flying line to the kite. So, the kite is actually ready. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see it. Here we go. So this is the kite ready to fly with a bridle and a little knot on the, at the end of uh, the bridle, which is where I'm going to attach the flying line. So here is my flying line. And what's important when you want to attach the flying line, the best way to do it is at the end of your flying line, we will make a loop. With a simple knot, we're making a loop here. Okay, and we will use this loop to attach our flying line to the bridle line. So we are going to use so-called Lark's head knot. So you put your two fingers into the loop and pull the flying line through the loop. So now we have this loop which we can attach to our bridle point once again. Lark's head knot, if you would like to Google it maybe with some um, with some better explanation, then it's Lark's head knot. However, I'm going to show you once again. So we have this loop here, we put the line through it, and now we have this little knot on our bridle line, so I put it through the Lark's head knot, and I squeeze the Lark's head knot on the bridle line, and it will stop on this knot that we prepared earlier on the bridle line. Here it is, the eddy is ready to fly. Enjoy! <laughs>